Hi, my name's Abby and I work for London Wildlife Trust. I really like spiders, but sometimes when you're trying to have a closer look at them, it's really hard because they keep moving around everywhere. So today we're going to make a spy pot, a handy device so you can have a closer look at these super animals. Spy pots are also great to have a closer look at these spiders if you're not that keen on handling them. So what you'll need is two plastic cups of the same size that fit snugly inside each other, a pen, some cling film, some double-sided tape, sellotape, some foam or old sponge, scissors and a knife. And make sure you ask an adult to help you. First of all, draw around the base of a plastic cup using your pen. Then take your scissors and cut out your circle. Next, you're going to stick the circle onto the base of the plastic cup. You'll need to use your double-sided tape and stick it on. That's one part done. Now, for the second part, take your other plastic cup and ask an adult to help you cut off the base. Like so. So use your scissors to just trim around the base to make sure it's nice and smooth. Then we're going to use the cling film to put a layer across the base. So put it on and then just trim the cling film off. When you're using your spy pot, if your cling film does break, don't worry, you can just replace the film and carry on using the pot. You want to make sure it stays nice and firm on the top. So we're going to hold it in place using the sellotape, put the tape all around the pot, making sure to try and keep it wrinkle free best you can. Cut the sellotape off and that's the other half done. Now you put the part with the sponge on the end inside the part with the cling film and you're ready to go. Let's see what we can find. So. I've used the part of my spy pot, which has got the cling film on the bottom, to catch this lovely spider. Now I'm going to take the end of the foam on the top and carefully place it inside this pot, all the time checking that I'm not going to trap the spider, especially their legs, between the two pots. Very slowly, move it up and your spider can be held in place. The soft cling film on the top protects the spider and the foam underneath means it won't get squished. But you can have a closer look. So, let's go and find out who this is. I've got my spider book, a ruler to help measure the body length, which helps in identification, and a magnifying glass to have a closer look. It's a good idea, first of all, to look at shapes of different spiders to see if you can find one that looks like yours. It's good to have a look at the body shape and the body length and what the legs are like. My spider's body length is around 12 millimeters, so there's lots of families I can rule out as they're too small. I found my spider near a web in the garden, so where I found them and what sort of web gives me a clue. My spider is quite a distinctive shape with markings on their legs, which are stripy. Let's see if I can find it here. This spider, which is one of the orb web spiders. And this one is commonly known as the garden spider. And they spin the classic wheel shaped webs. Sorry, I do have a really good tip for you to help find spiders. And it's by using an electric toothbrush. Take the head off and if you see a web but you can't see the spider anywhere, turn the electric toothbrush on and hold it against the web and see if you can spot any spiders. The vibrations from the toothbrush mimic the movement of the spider's prey getting caught in their web 
so they'll come out to investigate. Let's use our spy pod and find out who this spider is. I've had a look and she's a type of lace web spider. Now if I move the bottom pot up slightly, the cling film will restrict her movement, but it's flexible so it won't harm her and we're able to get a closer look. Now I'm calling her a her because if I use the magnifying glass and look here, I can see that her palps are long and thin all the way along. If we compare the palps to a male lacewweb spider, we can see that they have clubs on the end which look like boxing gloves. That's all from us lovely ladies. I'm going to pop these back where I found them and I'll see you again next time. Bye!